basically what it is is a place to introduce people of all ages to the power, the magic, the wonder of music. Each time I get on stage, it gets a little easier to say my lines and uh, sing my part, and like, it gets more natural, I think. People who initially were hesitant, who were shy, who were having trouble getting up in front of people, and to just see them blossom and develop the confidence then, as an audience is there, and for them to hear the applause, the laughter, the, the, the excitement that that brings to them gives me great joy. doing something on the piano and that's why I don't really like slow songs unless they're in the minor key by Chopin. It's kind of like the house is always full of music and my mom helps me a lot with, um, it's, I kind of have like a second piano teacher. And Rebecca decided to play the piano and she too started at four and a half with Mrs. Emmett who was my teacher. That's one of, I would have to say, that's a pretty exciting thing for me when our alumni send their children back. And Abigail started at the age of four and a half. We had a violinist play at church, and I had always dreamed that she would play the piano like me, but after she heard the violinist, she was dead set that she wanted to play violin. The people are really nice here, and like, if you mess up, they're like, oh, it's okay, you're fine. And they're like, they keep like teaching you to keep going, even though, like, just per perseverance. Individual lessons from accordion to xylophone. We have uh, teachers who teach so many varied instruments. We have camps in the summertime, fantastic opportunities there. We have some outreach programs uh, in conjunction with the YMCA in the summertime. And we call it Sam's Music Camp or Sam's Camp in the summertime. The kids get to uh, spend time with three different teachers during the day, a dance, music, and art teacher. And then at the end of the week, they perform for another camp, and then on Saturday of that week, they always get to perform on the Capitol Theater stage. Cumberland Valley School of Music offers lessons, classes, workshops, ranging from newborns and our music garden classes, preschool with music together and singing is primary, all the way through senior citizens with New Horizons bands and individual lessons. So if you are interested in music, we have something for you. We have um, a community orchestra that performs twice a year. We also have the community uh, symphonic band. And they perform twice a year. Intellectual benefits to the study of music. Um, studies have shown that it uses both sides of the brain and one of the few activities that does that and has the crossing of hemispheres. And it gives us these sort of, I don't know, neurological skills or, or rehearsal skills or disciplines that I think help us in various aspects of life. A sense of accomplishment, um, a sense of who they are as a person, because for me, vocal expression is human expression. One of our faculty members who began here as a four-year-old Suzuki violin student and um, she took, um, studied with 14 different teachers here as a kid. Flute lessons, clarinet lessons, violin lessons, voice lessons, piano lessons, cello lessons with a couple different teachers um, and went on to get an education degree in music and um, has now taught violin and voice. Hundreds and hundreds of people have made this institution 
what it is. And um, I, I think when I look again back over the years, I think that's what I see. Some of the faces that have come and gone, but especially those that have, have been around all those years and are still, still supporting uh, what it is we do. It took dedicated faculty and, and uh, students that are willing to come here. With the pedaling? Yeah. Yes. I like this pedal. Okay. She is really nice, very quiet. She only encourages me. She does give me um, corrective criticism, but it's it's in the nicest way possible. great education, like they teach you so great here. Everyone's nice here, they're very encouraging. The way you stand when you're singing is, you know, you look more confident with your feet to bread and your shoulders back. So don't be afraid to project. Allow yourself to relax, make it look easy. I like learning how to play it. I like playing new songs, learning new, new, new things. I like playing fast. Why? It's fun. Do you like fast songs or slow songs? No. You like the slow songs? Why? Because it doesn't make it really difficult to have to like be fast and active. Um, I've memorized this one. It's kind of it's easy, really easy. Kind of makes a noise like. Poof, chuk, poof, chuk. Like when you're having trouble, they 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 give you more confidence. I've done the recitals have helped boost my confidence a lot. It gives me a challenge. Uh, my favorite song is probably The Entertainer. The teachers are great. They're very helpful. And all in all, it's just awesome. We're busy. We figure we do about 13,000 lessons a year and in individual lessons and classes. Um, meeting probably over uh, 600 people in lesson and performance situations. There is a spirit of community about the place. I think it's more than just an institution. I think that it has people who love it, people who care for it. So it's a different kind of relationship that happens. So we are a part of each other with our parents, our families, everybody. It's, it's been neat to see how we all feel how important this institution is because uh, it was so important to us now to, to come back and to get back to the community. To come here and board members that are willing to support us and spend hours and hours and, and make financial contributions. Very proud of, of my best friend as a music educator here in Chambersburg. Um, I have friends who are attorneys, one who's gone into the medical profession I can think of, uh, accountants, um, stay-at-home mothers. And then to take that confidence in who they are out into the world to do whatever it is that they want to do beyond these walls. Well, and it's exciting that uh, all the things are happening at one time. I think it creates a sense of community rather than an isolated studio in someone's home. Um, the synergy that you get from different instruments, different teachers, uh, is something you can't have in a private home. Uh, so it's pretty exciting where you've had one group of people who've come through the school, who've now grown, they've, they've got children and the children are here. So there's a longevity to it that, uh, that hopefully will go on and on and on. Thank you. 
Thank you.